News at 10. This is a priority for us, and uh, we stay on top of it and make sure it's done uh, the way it's supposed to be done. Stoddard County Sheriff defends his office following a state audit that says more than a dozen registered sex offenders in his county are unaccounted for. Good evening, everyone. He's not alone. Nathan Elgren went to find out why county leaders think the information is inaccurate. Well, Jeff, I learned this audit uses data from the Missouri Highway Patrol's sex offender registration database, but both the sheriff and prosecuting attorney from Stoddard County tell me that that resource often does not match their own records, and they think this audit's painting the wrong picture. It struck me as a disingenuous uh, political ploy that was inaccurately portraying a system uh, to gain uh, votes. Stoddard County Prosecuting Attorney Russ Oliver calls a newly released audit a slap in the face to efforts to keep track of nearby sexual predators. Oliver says the state auditor's office called them several months ago telling him that 29 sex offenders in the county were non-compliant. The first name that they gave us was Sean Marty. He asked for the full list so he could cross-check it with his own records, but they only sent him 11 names. Well, I found people that were in the Department of Corrections, that were in county jails, uh, that didn't live here. Two of them had active warrants for failure to register as a sex offender, and we were pursuing those cases. Basically, every one of those 11 people um, couldn't be termed as non-compliant. Stoddard County Sheriff Carl Hefner says following up with registered sex offenders is a high priority. Our goal is to keep our children safe. While they only have one officer following up with sex offenders, Hefner says their records show only a few are non-compliant and most have warrants out for their arrest. Actually, once a year, we get a packet together on every registered sex offender in Stoddard County and we we go and we personally make contact with that subject. We make sure he's in compliant. We make sure he's working where he says he is and he's living uh, where he says he is. I also reached out to Butler County Sheriff Mark Dobbs, who's also part of this audit. His records show that only 11 sex offenders in his county are non-compliant. And most of those, he tells me, cannot register because they're staying at the federal probation and parole center and cannot physically come into the sheriff's office to complete the process. Live Local Now, Nathan Elgren.